All right, welcome to the CF Moto U Force 1000 build episode number two. Uh, I'm inserting this one here because I just installed these rock lights and it looks so good. We have three pods up front, one in the cab pointing down in the floorboard. Looks super good. And I've got three in the back one in each wheel well and then one in the very middle back lighting up everything looks really good off this ice and snow and also i know a lot of people are asking about the weight of the tires versus the stock tire setup so i'm going to show you that in this video as well but that joker looks good it's going to stand out when you go on a night ride or something and you can control i'll show you some features about it when we get in the shop but i can make it stay on one solid color you can make it stay on a white color and it really man it lights up everything around you that's really nice when you're out on the trails uh, at night and you really want to see where you need to have your tire placement so anyways man it looks so good but anyways enough talking we'll go in the shop and uh we'll i'll show you a couple other things talk about some plans with the build we'll weigh these tires and uh yeah all right so before we show you the weight of the tires from stock uh to the new uh 30 inch tire setup I know many of you were asking about that. I was going to show you the point, the whole key to this particular episode for uh, episode two of this build is just simply these rock lights. And there's going to be some more LED lights coming soon, but these are awesome, man. These are the C2 lights from Mick Tuning. And I have one in that wheel well. I have one right tucked under here. If you notice, it's it should hit. I was worried about putting it there in case I hit something and I might damage it. I don't know, but hopefully it sits above the skid plate. So we'll see if that, it might get take on some damage, but it fits right in line here. So I think we'll be okay. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, we got one mounted there. Got all the wires ran and tucked in nicely. I put one under the uh, dash here to really light up down here. I didn't want to put two under here because when you're riding at night, you don't want to be blinded by the, uh, by the light glowing inside the cab, especially if you have a windshield. That would get pretty annoying. So then back here, I put two uh one in this wheel well as you can see that sucker's so bright and it shouldn't get muddy or at least too bad because it's way inside the tire and it shines on the shocks and uh then i got one right mounted here right in the middle uh and it should be far enough away they're made to handle a little bit of heat so i got my wires ran uh with the with the stock wire harness that's coming back here to the brake lights and everything so everything looks awesome i really like the way it turned out um good quality stuff i've ran mick tuning rock lights on everything i've had really so good stuff and i really like it so we got a few other ideas i have for this build <clears throat> i've got this led bar it's just a eight inch and uh, i don't know exactly where i'm going to mount it yet i know that i'm getting some cf moto uh, genuine accessories like the cf moto big front bumper the rear bumper the uh the rock slider or nerf bar is going to go in there and uh, i would like to get I know that the one thing that's really neat about the U-Force is the reverse lights, but I would like also to mount a 
eight inch, maybe that LED bar right back here, possibly, I'm not sure yet. And uh, have a little switch where you can flip it on and it would really light up everything in the box as well as everything back behind you in the trail. Um, what else? I got a lot of plans. I don't want to reveal them all at once. Uh, let's see what these tire measurements are. I want to go ahead and shoot this video because we were planning on going to, we were planning on going to Mudslingers uh, this weekend, actually tomorrow. Today's Friday. I don't know exactly when this video is going to be posted and when you're going to see it, but we we're planning to go to Mudslingers Saturday, which is tomorrow right now. And, uh, but the roads are like the Natchez Trace is still shut down. It's covered in trees and snow and ice and we can't get down there. So, uh, instead the highway is clear. So I'm going to drive, I'm going to load up the U-Force and the C-Force 800 and I'm going to take it to Tishomingo. I'm going to go ride with Joel and David and Jaden for Main Street Cycle. We're going to shoot some videos of the U-Force with another U-Force 1000 and I don't know, the 950s, a lot of things. So it's going to be slushy and nasty and muddy. So I want to go ahead and get this video of the rock lights done before everything gets covered. But trust me, you know me, I'm going to show you how to clean this thing and get it back looking brand new. So don't worry about that. But uh, let's see how much this weighs. I should have done it in the last episode, but uh, I forgot all about a scale. So here we go. This is the 20, I mean the 30 inch by nine, nine and a half by 14 STI Roctane on HD. These are STI HD 10 gloss black wheels. Let's see how much the scale says. Let me get it balanced. 45.7 pounds. 45.7 pounds. Now let's grab a stock front tire. Don't these look sweet? I really love these, mm -hmm. man. They yeah, really have the yeah. same tread pattern as the Roctane, but with a little bit more contact pack. So these are great, great tires. They do excellent in all terrains. Um, awesome looking rim. Uh, and I'm gonna be selling these at Main Street Cycle. So these, as well as the stock 950 tires and wheels. So they're brand new and uh, they're awesome. Let's see. 37.7. So how, how much was the? 45.7. 45.7. So the front tires, stock tires are 37.7 pounds. Now, let's weigh a rear tire, which is 27 by 11, I think. Yeah, 27 by 11. So there's a lot more meat on this one. Forty-four point two. Forty-four point two. So the STI Roctane is only what was it? Forty-five. Yeah, forty-five point seven. So you're only just over a pound heavier on this thirty-inch STI Roctane in the rear. Now the fronts, they're a lot lighter. They were. I done forgot again. I'll put it up on the video. They're, they're significantly lighter. They were 37.7. 37.7. Thank you, Ethan. So, my memory, terrible. <laughs> um, so, not a huge difference. It, it is more so in the front tire, but man, it's, it's a great setup. You're going from a 27-inch tire all the way to a 30-inch STI Roctane. It's a heavy ply tire. Lasts a long time. Great tire choice. All right. So if you want a little bit lighter option, you can go with the Carnivore, 30 inch Carnivore. And it's, it's a little, it's actually has more contact packs because it's 30 by 10, but it is actually lighter than the STI Roctane by just a little bit. So a little bit lighter tire and uh, it actually, the compound of it is softer. So they're gonna wear out a little bit quicker 
they seem to have an advantage on certain surfaces over the Roctanes, but they're going to wear out quicker than a Roctane. But great option, great tire. If you're going to be out on the trails more than anything and not much on the hard packed road uh, or the road in general pavement, then I would go with a rock. Uh, I mean, with the carnivore. But if you think you are going to be on the pavement a, a good bit, uh, there, the rock tames might will last a little bit longer. And there's a lot of other good options, and we have a ton at Main Street Cycle, so check them out. Um, so let's get this tire back on and um, end this video. All right, so we got the tire back on, got it torqued back to spec, and we're ready to ride tomorrow and get this thing muddy for the first time. I don't want to get too dirty. I'm going to try to keep her clean, but there's no promises. But <laughs> afterwards, we'll get her clean, and uh, at some point, I'm going to show you a good, uh, all my tips and tricks on how I like to keep my stuff clean and how I like to wash my stuff and what chemicals I like to use. That'll be coming very soon, and uh, I'll show you how to keep all your stuff looking brand new when you're done riding, even if you get it nice and muddy, which is bound to happen. So uh, excited about this build. I love the rock lights. Comment down in the comment section what you think about them. And remember, uh, you can use your phone to control these rock lights, and uh, you can make it one solid color or you can make them flash and strobe. They have a lot of features, a lot of customization. You can mount them anywhere you want them, but I really like the way that I laid this out. I hope you like it as well. So um, I got a lot more plans coming for this build. Very excited about it. Uh, ready to test it tomorrow and put it out on the trail. We're gonna be riding with some Z950 Sports. We're gonna ride even on the uh, C Force 800 and uh, we're gonna see what we can get into. So that video will be coming very soon, probably right after this video, maybe before it, I don't know yet, <laughs> but uh, you'll get to see it eventually. So hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for uh, future build videos on this one. My Z950 is coming and I'm ready to get started on it. So remember, if you are interested in this build and you get excited about it and there's not another one out there that you would like to buy, and you would like to save and wait for this one, uh, let me know and uh, be reserving possibly a spot to own this yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we thank you for always watching and we thank you for subscribing. Make sure you got that bell notification on down in the bottom uh, left hand or actually your right hand corner of your screen. Make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss a single time when we upload a video. And uh, you never know in my videos, a lot of you ask questions that I try to make sure that I answer in the videos at some point, whether it be in the middle of the video or at the end. I always try to give you some good information that you can use and apply to your ATV, your side-by-side, -side, the dirt bikes, uh, even the RC stuff. I'm always throwing out some information that you could use. So don't try not to miss a video, watch them all and uh, we'll learn some things together and as i learn i'll try to share the information with you but uh thank you for subscribing thank you for giving thumbs up for commenting and god bless y'all and as always remember to keep it real we'll see you in the next one